Today, let's learn how to build a basic AI-powered chat app that streams in text using Vercel's AI SDK. Now, in this video, I'm going to be using Spellkit, but you can use whichever framework you prefer. So here is a little demo of what we're going to be building. Nothing too fancy. You just type something in this input, and we see the bot's response being streamed in. Now, as I mentioned, we'll be using the AI SDK, which comes with several providers you can use. But in this video, we're going to use OpenAI. So with that being said, the first thing we need to do is get our OpenAI API key if we don't already have one. To do this, just go to your OpenAI dashboard. We're going to click this API keys tab in the side nav and then click generate new key. Now that we have our API key, let's get our project all set up. So I'm going to open up my terminal and create a new Svelte project by running the following command. And when you create a new project, it's going to ask you a few questions. So let's just start from a skeleton project. We'll select TypeScript and ESLint. And now CD into the new directory and we'll just install. Okay, so now I'm going to open this in my text editor and let's install the dependencies that we'll need, which is not much. First, we'll install the AI and AI SDK slash OpenAI with this command. And then I'll also be using Tailwind in this project. So let's go ahead and install and set that up. But this is an optional step, so I'm going to fast forward through it. I'll link the Tailwind docs to the Svelkit quick start in the description below if you want to take a look at that. Okay, now let's set up our environment variable. So create a .env.local file at the root of your project and just paste in your open AI key like this. Obviously, replace the X's with your secret key. And now that our project is all set up, let's start coding. So we'll start by creating a Spellkit API route at slash chat within our route directory. So create a new directory called API and then one within that called chat and then finally create the server.ts file like this. The first thing we need to do in this API route is add our imports. So let's go ahead and add those. Here we're importing create OpenAI from the OpenAI package, and we'll be using this to create an OpenAI provider instance. Next, we're importing Dream Text, which are functions to handle and process streaming text responses. We're then just importing our request handler type, and finally ENV, which gives us access to the private environment variables. Now we need to create an OpenAI provider instance using the create OpenAI function. And we can do this by passing in our OpenAI API key like this. Next, we'll export a post request handler and extract the messages from the body of the request. This messages variable is going to contain the history of the conversation between you and the chatbot. And this will provide all the necessary context for the next response to be generated. Now we want to call the stream text function. And this is the main part of our file. So we'll set the return value of this function to the variable result. And in order to use stream text, we need to pass it a configuration object that includes the model provider instance, which we already created, and the messages. So it'll look something like this. And then finally, the stream text function returns a stream text result, which contains the two AI stream response function. And this function converts the result into a streamed response object. So we can return our result like this. So now that our API route is set up, let's set up the UI. So move into the page and we're going to use the AI SDK's UI package to set up the chat interface. This package makes doing this extremely simple. All the complexity involved in creating a chat interface is basically abstracted into a single hook called use chat. And this hook provides utility functions and state that we'll be using to build out the UI. So in our page, let's go ahead and import use chat like this. And then we'll extract input, handle submit, and messages from it like this. So let's briefly go over what these three things are. Input is the current value of the input field. Handle submit will handle the form submission, so it'll call our endpoint that we created earlier by default. It'll automatically reset the input field and append a user message. Now I want to note that while it'll call the chat API route by default, you can also customize the route of calls by passing in the API parameter to use chat. And I'll be linking the docs to this in the description below if you need to go check those out. And then finally, messages is the current chat messages. So it's an array of objects with ID, role, and then the content. So now we can use these in our page like this. Here we have a form with an input that would call handle submit when the form is submitted. This will send our messages, including the newest one, to our endpoint, which creates a response and updates the messages array with this response. Then using our messages array, we are looping through the messages and displaying them. And these are being streamed, so we'll see the response as being generated. So let's run this locally and check it out. Now we haven't styled it yet, obviously, but if I were to type in like, give me a recipe for red velvet cake, 
we'll see that it's functioning and the response is being streamed in. Now, one thing I mentioned is that we're sending the module all the message history, which gives it context of the conversation. So instead of just responding to an individual prompt, it's instead responding to the prompt in the context of the existing conversation. So for example, if I were to type, I don't have eggs, it responds by giving us a new recipe that doesn't require eggs instead of saying something else like, you should go buy eggs or try eating a different food, you know? Okay, so see, we have a functioning interface displaying our chats and streaming in the response. But the very last thing we need to do is make it look pretty. So here, I'm just going to paste in some Tailwind styles. And if we check it out again, we see that now we have a styled AI chatbot. And woo, we're done. Yay. Now, I'm going to link this repo and the docs in the description below. And I plan to put out a couple more videos just expanding on this project. So maybe showing how to stream objects or how to use tools. If you have any other suggestions that you'd like to see a video on, go ahead and leave them in the comments below. Otherwise, thanks for watching. Bye.